So the first thing I do in my brow routine is I brush through them with a spoolie brush. This just makes sure they are groomed and they're laying in the direction that I want them to lay in. I also take this time to trim any hairs that are too long. Starting off with trimmed and groomed brows makes it a lot easier to work with them. Next, I'm going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate, and I'm using a MAC 208 brush to apply this with. I'm just drawing a line at the base of my brow and following through to the tail. Something I do want to mention is working with this product, you need the right brush to do it with. You really want a thin brush. Um, with this product, things can get messy really quick, so you want a thin brush to be precise with, and you also don't want to load up too much product on that brush. I'm then drawing a line at the top of my brow and filling the rest in. Another thing I do want to point out is that I'm not putting any product in about the beginning fourth of my brows. This is going to make it look somewhat natural and it's also going to give your brows the kind of gradient effect. You really don't want them to just start randomly and have those really boxy brows. Here I'm just creating an arch. We're connecting the line we made on the top of the brow and we're following through to the tail of the brow just like we did with the bottom part. It's completely okay if you make mistakes where everything isn't perfect because we're going to go back and conceal it and correct it all later. Going back to the gradient effect I was talking about, we're using the spoolie that we used in the beginning and I'm feathering some of that dip brow pomade into the first fourth of my brows. Now I'm carving out my brows with concealer. I'm taking my NYX Above and Beyond Concealer and my Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush and I'm using this to carve out the base of my brows. You can't really tell with the studio lights that I'm using but this concealer is a couple shades lighter than my skin tone so it's going to double as a highlight for my brow bone as well. With the same brush, I'm doing the same thing to the top of my brows, except I'm using my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer because it's closer to my skin tone. Last but not least, I'm applying my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in chocolate, and I'm just doing this because it makes it look a little bit more polished and put together. And that's the last step. After that, you're finished. I hope you guys learned something new and found something you might want to add to your own brow routine. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye.